In the structure shown below, which of these bonds is the longest? A, the carbon to carbon single bond, B, the carbon to carbon double bond, or C, the carbon to hydrogen bond. In valence bond theory, a bond between two atoms is said to be due to the overlap of their valence orbitals. The only orbital used for bonding by hydrogen is the 1s orbital. The valence orbitals of carbon are in the second shell. Therefore, we expect any carbon to hydrogen bond to be shorter than a carbon to carbon bond. As far as the carbon to carbon bonds are concerned, a single bond is expected to be longer than a double bond, which is expected to be longer than a triple bond. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Let's see how valence bond theory explains this. The steric numbers of carbon shown in the structure from left to right are 4, 3, and 3. The first carbon is a tetrahedral center. Its hybridization is sp3. The second and third carbon are trigonal planar centers. Their hybridization is sp2. Therefore, the bonding between the carbon atoms are due to the following orbital overlaps. For the single bond, the overlap is sp3 to sp2. For the double bond, the overlap is sp2 to sp2. We expect the sp3 to sp2 overlap to be longer because electrons in the sp3 orbital stretches out further from the nucleus than those in an sp2 orbital. p orbitals stretch out further from the nucleus than s orbitals, and sp3 orbitals have more p character than sp2 orbitals. In fact, we can estimate what all these bond lengths are using covalent radii that we can look up. From webelements.com, the values you'll find are 31 picometers for hydrogen, 76 picometers for an sp3 orbital of carbon, and 73 picometers for an sp2 orbital of carbon. The bond length is just equal to the sum of the covalent radii. Therefore, the carbon to carbon single bond here is expected to be 149 picometers. 76 plus 73 equals 149. This is 3 picometers longer than the carbon to carbon double bond. The carbon to carbon bonds are at least 30 picometers longer than the carbon to hydrogen bonds since the hydrogen atom's covalent radius is only 31 picometers.